Impact of racism on mental health. Racism is treating some individuals worse than others based on their race. It exists in various forms in society. Acts of bias and discrimination against both persons and organizations are possible. It may also refer to larger oppressive structures. Racist trauma, persistent stress, anxiety, and depression can all be brought on by experiencing racial injustice and prejudice. However, some techniques increase your resiliency and safeguard your mental well-being. Racism negatively and significantly influences mental health and is linked to increased depressive symptoms, high stress levels, low self-esteem, anxiety, and trauma. Racist behaviors can range considerably. They typically fit into one of two groups. Asterisk micro-racism. It can range from overt physical and verbal abuse to covert actions against minority races. This could refer to unfair treatment, disdain, or casually racist jokes. Asterisk macro-level or systemic racism. One may experience macro-level or systemic racism due to laws, rules, and policies. In addition to the laws that control institutions like the legal, medical, educational, or financial systems, it also includes the kinds of stories reported in the media regarding people of color. How does racism impact you psychologically? It is challenging to live in a society where your racial group is routinely and continuously subjected to unfair treatment, threats, harassment, and exclusion. Other people's perceptions, biases, and beliefs can contribute to perceptions of inferiority, guilt, or incompetence and have a variety of negative consequences, including interactions that can be lethal. All of this impacts how you perceive yourself, how you perceive others, and how you interact with the outside world. However, because they are hidden inside the regular presentations of mental health illnesses such as anxiety disorders, depressive disorders, and post-traumatic stress disorder, the impacts of racism are disregarded. Racism impacts a sense of security, reliability, and comfort. Knowing that policies and laws actively enforce racial profiling, discrimination, oppression, and governing institutions can cause ongoing anxiety, worry, horrific thought of the worst-case scenario, and panic. Racism can make people shy, avoidant, uneasy in social situations, and isolated. One's self-confidence can be eroded by racism and prejudice on both a micro and macro scale. They may cause doubt and fear in carrying out activities of daily living. They may eventually result in emotional outcomes like anxiety, feeling that you must be vigilant to prevent incidents in the future, asterisk sadness, depression, or suicidal ideation, a lower sense of worth, a pessimistic perspective and a lack of hope for improvement in your daily quality of life, anger, post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, symptoms, distress and distressing symptoms. These symptoms are frequently not recognized as being caused by repeated exposure to racism and its impact. Getting the assistance you require may depend on finding a therapist who can see how racism affects your mental health. Ways to help your mental health. There are things you can do to elevate your mood and better take care of your mental and physical health, even if you can't change how people treat you, stop racist conduct in society, or fight systematic racism shortly. Discuss your personal experiences. Finding a secure place to talk about your experiences can be relieving. It may also lessen your vulnerability to mental health problems. Identify your feelings. Racism frequently makes you feel humiliated, denigrated, or alienated. Whatever you're feeling, giving the emotion a name might help you feel more in control and find a productive method to deal with it. Know what the triggers are. Focus on a specific person, place, or circumstance that impacts your mental health. This can help you process trauma and reduce anxiety. Make connections with people who share your experiences. One of the most potent and successful ways to deal with or overcome mental health challenges is through peer support and a sense of community among friends, family, or a support group.